Hi everyone, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another live stream. I see you guys already here. I see Clinton Hall, Corbanas, I see Robinson family, Diana. Blessings to you all, and again, welcome to another live stream. Again, I try to do the videos to help you guys um, change your life and make your life better for whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, today, we're going to focus on basically how to get out of trouble. And this is something we all going to go through in our lives, no matter what. I don't care if you're um, 50 years old, 60 years old, 20, 10. We're all going to go through a situation in life where we're in some type of trouble. It is part of life, everyone. Now, how you react to these things, how you react to being in trouble or getting in trouble, it's up to you. The more you understand the universal laws, the more you understand God's law, the least you will see the problems. Now, there's times where you might see more problems than average. Then there's times where you may not see trouble at all. But the thing is, we are constantly evolving and we're going to see something. And that's what I want to talk to you today. Some of you are getting a lot of things in life and others are like, Yvette, well, I haven't really had a problem in the last year, but I want to mention to all of you, it is part of life to go through that cycle. The more you see it, the more you need to work on yourself. The least you see it, the more you know you're in a good vibration, you're in a good place in this life. Again, sometimes we might have some and other times we don't. But for the rest of our lives, we're always going to encounter something, something that we do not want. So again, I wanna thank all of you for being here. I see Angie Hunt just signed in, Queenie, Carlton um, Atkins, yes, Donna Full. Listen, I see Tampa BBQ, Queens. I still see you here, but don't worry. I see you though. So listen, blessings to you guys all being here. Just to let you know, I have to acknowledge my members first. Other than that, I love all of you guys. And today we're going to talk and we're going to see where we can take this. And listen, this will change your life. Now, if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical channel that gives law of attraction information and manifesting techniques in all different ways. So please support this channel by just liking, subscribing, tapping the bell, and watching more videos. Now, other than that, you might be saying, Yvette, this is a live stream. Why is it so long? I do want to tell you guys it's long because it's a live stream. It's not a regular video. And this is how we commune with each other on Sunday for spiritual growth. Again, today we're going to talk about a hot topic of trouble, problems in our lives and how you can get out of it fast. And I'm telling you, once you learn this today, for the rest of your life, I am telling you, to remember it. We only want to see you guys do better. Now, other than that, again, like, subscribe, tap that bell. Okay, everyone. Again, this is laid back. If you are not a subscriber, you cannot write a comment. Only subscribers can write a comment. If you want to subscribe, there's a subscription button where you, in front of your screen, not in front of mine or not in front of the people that already subscribed, but the people that are not subscribed, there's a subscribe button there. You click that, wait one minute, and then you can come on in and write a comment and join the family. So blessings to you all. Uh, okay, so now let's get to this. Um, problems, troubles, we all go through it. I get people constantly writing me, signing up for coaching sessions, telling me, how they got problems, how people at their jobs don't like them. They're having problems in their home. They're just having problems. Then I get some people that write me, they have a problem. They get out of that problem and then they go right back in somewhere else in that same problem. Okay. 
So I sit back and say, whoa, who is the common denominator? It's you, okay? And listen, it's not that you're doing something on purpose. It's not like you're doing something and you're saying, this is what I'm going to be. This is what I'm going to do. It's not that. And we're going to talk about this. I have other people that say, Yvette, I just can't keep money in my pocket. Yvette, I just can't get promoted at my job. Yvette, I just can't get ahead. Every time I take one step forward and I take two steps back. Yvette, what the heck is going on? Why is it other people are able to manifest what they want and I can't? What's going on? And listen, this right here is common amongst all of us. Again, these are sim simple things that we all go through. Some go through more than others. And at different times or phases in your life, you might go through things a little more. Okay? But now we're going to get to what you need to do and what what it is. Now, listen, I can give you guys all the manifesting techniques that you can use, okay? There's one thing you guys must understand. God, the universe, Allah, whoever you want to, whatever um, deity you want to use, has a set of laws in place for us, just like the law of gravity, okay? just like the law of gestation, okay? Where every woman carries a baby for nine months or there's four seasons, okay? Or there's 24 hours in a day, okay? We have certain laws in place to allow us to inhabit this earth, okay? So you guys have to understand this. God has placed so many laws here to keep us in place. This does not exclude you manifesting whatever it is you're seeing in your life. Now, I want to explain to you every single thing you see in your life, you create it first within. Okay, some of you might not agree with me. Hey, look, this is special to me because you have to understand this. It affects myself also. Everything you're seeing in your life, Whoever it is you're attracting in your life, you are creating it. That person at your job could have been arguing with someone else. Why is it that person connected with you? Ah, you could have went and bought a house anywhere in your town or your state. Why is it that you ended up moving next to the pain in the neck neighbors? Ha ha. Everything happens and there is no accident. Why did you get hit in the back when there was a thousand other cars on the parkway? You have to understand what I'm, about, what I'm about to talk to you about. And listen, you guys, this affects every part of your life. If you understand what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up. Now we got Renee Spence that just signed in, another member. We got Vanessa Jackson that just signed in. And again, I see all of you guys and much love to you. Now, when we're talking about trouble, when we're talking about problems, again, God has placed some laws and I'm gonna just speak briefly on some of them, okay? We all know about the law of attraction, okay? Okay, this is the biggie, you guys. The law of attraction, okay? What is it you're paying attention to? What is it that you're thinking? What is it that you are telling your subconscious mind that you want more of? This can be as simple as you watching a whole lot of movies that got a lot of drama. Uh -huh. Just watching a whole lot of drama can actually be impregnated into your subconscious mind to say you want more. You want more of those type of movies. You want more of that type of talk. And you want more of those situations coming into your life. Now, there is the law of, uh, we'll go back to this. There's a law of cause and effect. It's very similar to the law of attraction. They're all basically overlapping. Cause and effect. What you hand out is what you get back. What is it that you sent out? to bring in that vibration, to bring it back to you. 
like a boomerang, everyone? Are you being disrespectful to someone else? What's going on? Are you being disrespectful to someone else on another level? Meaning your parents, meaning your siblings, meaning a coworker that can't stand up for themselves. But then you leave and then there's someone doing the same thing to you. You can't keep money, but you don't give money. You hold money. Your poor grandmother has no food. You plan, you have $500. You don't even want to buy her a can of soup. But on the other end, you then start losing money. Cause and effect, you guys. Law of attraction. These things are in place not to punish you, okay? And I really want you guys to understand this. These are not in place to punish you. God has given you the right to live your life here on earth. You can make it either your heaven or you can make it your hell. It's up to you. God has placed these laws in effect so that you can determine what it is you want in your life. And again, some days you might be good. Some days you might attract the bad. And it might even be a time in your life. You're 30 years old and things start happening bad. Or you're 50 years old. Things was always good. And then all of a sudden things started happening. Okay. We are all going through it. But God said, hey, look, Yvette, here's your heaven. Here's your hell. It's up to you to decide every moment in your life where you're going. What are you going to? And here is the secret. This heaven and hell is basically every, every portion of your life. You can be successful in business, happy in business, and then come home in your personal relationships, be in hell. You can be in heaven at home and go to your job and be in hell. You can be in heaven um, in life, but still keep losing money. Whatever it is, you are focusing on whatever it is you are having the difficulties in, just know you are creating when it comes to that, your heaven and your hell. And it's just that simple. Now we're talking about, okay, another thing that we got a law of is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Ha, ah, let's say this again. The law of perpetual transmutation of of energy. Have you ever had a person that came in the room and you're all having fun and that person energy just killed the party? Ha ha. I just had that um, a couple of days ago. Whoa, the energy and that energy then transmutes and it affects your energy. Okay. And now you're part of that energy because that person's energy has came in and spread out throughout the room. Okay. So now these are all laws. So again, you have to, not only you got to watch what you're saying and who you're attracting, but you have to also watch who you're around. Okay. Because that energy is going to affect your energy. And then your energy is going to affect what comes your way and what problems you have. Again, if you understand what I'm saying, please give me a thumbs up because you guys have to remember. I could tell you all about bay leaves, cinnamon. I could tell you about all type of manifesting techniques. I could tell you about lemons and, and limes and everything because I love to read it. This is who I am. But when I talk on Sundays, I'm giving you guys the information for you to live the best life you can live, okay? And this is the life that you are seeking. This is the life you're seeking that you want. And I'm trying to tell you is that I, right now, is giving you the secrets to your problems, to each and every one of our problems. And again, problems are going to come and they're going to go. My thing is, are you recognizing them? Are you get, get stepping back and saying, whoa, what the heck is going on? Where am I? Where, where am I on my um, emotional vibrational scale? Where am I on my level of consciousness? Where am I? with the law of attraction and the law of assumption. Where am I? 
All of these things God put in place. And this is the thing that God blessed you with. God said, I'm not going to allow it to happen instantly because if I allow you to focus on negative things, if I allow you to um, keep manifest things instantly, the whole world would not be here. Someone would say, world disappear and the world would disappear. Someone will say, mommy, I hate you. I wish you died. And that person would die. God put laws in place that these things don't happen like that. You have the ability to create your life, but God has given you a time to say, change the way you're thinking, change what you're doing. And what you send out to others will come back to you. You have to remember this. And people, I tell you all the time, on this channel here, no matter what manifesting techniques I give you, nothing is ever meant to hurt anyone. If you're having people that's having a problem with you and you call me up for coaching, my thing is to get that person away from you or to resolve the situation. That situation could be, can be resolved by that person being promoted and then you being promoted into that person's spot or you being promoted over that person. That is what I call solving a solution, solving a problem, okay? Not someone getting hurt or someone losing their husband or anything like that, because we don't do that here, okay? What you do for yourself, that's up to you. I That stuff is there for you to use, but it's up to you. You can take a knife and cut an apple, and you can take a knife and kill somebody. It's not the knife, it's the person. So problems are going to occur in your life. And we're now going to get into what is it I want you to do? And it is very simple, you guys. If you are encountering a problem, I need you to stand back and say, what the heck is going on? For one, why am I asking you to do this? Because again, Whatever you are encountering in your life, whether it's money, a house, a career, a business, love, whatever it is you are encountering, you created it. Okay? So now you need to step back and say, whoa, because I need you to understand where is this coming from? By knowing and receiving the knowledge of where is this coming from, you are now able to analyze it and stop it. You don't sugarcoat it. We need to actually realize where it's coming from and then stop it. The next thing I need you to do once you realize what's going on is I need you to let it go. Okay, we're going to say this again. Let it go. Why am I saying this? You already know the direction is taking you in. You already know this. You already know it's taking you in a negative direction, a downward spiral. You already know you are somewhere where you don't want to be. Are you going to entertain it, thinking about it, focusing on it, giving it more energy, or are you going to take it away? Let it go. Okay, you got that. Okay, whatever. Let it go. Is it worth your sanity? Is it worth you going down a spiral tunnel with that person, situation, or thing? Is it worth it? Or are you big enough to say, I want more in my life. I don't want to be on the level with those people. I want more. I want to be on the level with those people. I want to go out and have fun and laugh and joke and, and shop and do whatever I want to do. I don't want to be on that level of arguing, disappointment. I don't want to be on that level. You have the right, as I stated earlier, to decide where you want to be in heaven or hell. What is it you want in your life? Now, the way you're going to do this is to analyze what is going on and why. It may even go back to your childhood that you really need to pull something out of your history 
that no longer needs to be around you. You know, a, a way of thinking, a way of belief, something that happened to you a long time ago. You might need to let that go in order to let this go. You need to stop thinking about it in that particular way. You need to change that way. Let's just say it's a person and that person is giving you a hard time. You need to then start saying, instead of saying, this person is crazy, this person has a problem. You need to start saying, God, I give this to you. Ah, write this down, you guys. God, I give this to you. And send that person love. When you see that person, say hello. Smile. Be happy. Whatever it is you need to do to change that whole situation and move it in another direction, you do it. Let that person go and harass someone else. But for you, in your home, you serve God. You serve the universe. You serve Allah. You serve Mother Earth. You serve my, my, my three moon goddess. Whoever it is, your higher self. But in your home, you serve God. And God is love and peace. And God dwells inside of you. Inside of you is your home. So if you are a peaceful person in your inside, peace has to follow you on the outside. And that's all it is. Now, letting go is difficult when you're in a situation. But if you believe me and say, okay, Yvette said, look at this situation different. If you do this, you will see yourself, some of you instantly getting out of a situation. If it's a money issue, we know affirmation, scripting. Why are you doing these things? You're doing these things to stop you from thinking of things that are the opposite. So if you feel like life comes to you difficulty with difficulties, you write down, life comes to me easy. Life comes to me easy. And what is this doing? This is changing the way you're thinking. While you're writing it, you're changing the way you're thinking. You're changing the way you're feeling because you're feeling happier because you're writing something about your life that is more positive. It's all the same. No matter if it's bay leaves, affirmation, scripting, visualization, all of these things have one thing in common. You are focusing on what it is that you want in your life. And again, it is the opposite of what you're seeing in your life. And through universal laws, it has to change. If someone is giving you a hard time, I'm not telling you not to defend yourself because you do it, okay? Because that's just the way life is, you do it. Because that is another thing. If you don't defend yourself, that person is gonna come back at you, okay? So you defend yourself, but at the end of the day, you say, listen, man, I have no ill, no, no ill harm against you. I wanna live, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna move on and go on about my business. Whatever it is, you defend yourself, you move on, and you give it to God. If you have no money in your pocket, you give that to God. God, I give this to you. God, I wake up this morning. I am happy that you gave me another day to be breathing on this earth. I thank you, and I thank you, and I thank you. Whatever it is I'm going to see today, I know it's nothing but positive, positivity in my life. At this moment, God, I just want to thank you for blessing me. I want to thank you for filling my life with positive people. I want to thank you for the career that I have. I want to thank you for the prospering business I have. I want to thank you for that new car that you just gave me. I want to thank you for that new home that I'm going out today to look for because I know it's already there, God, because you already promised it to me. I want to thank you for my health, God. I want to thank you. Start focusing on the positive. When you have trouble in your life, say, God, I give this to you. God, I got a bill. Something came up in my life. But God, you know what? I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let this go, God, and I'm going to give it to you. God, I'm going to take action in the direction that I need to take because I know, God, you're working in me, through me, and around me. And I know you're going to bring that right person into my life to resolve this situation. God, I want to let you know that I love you. Universe, I want to let you know that I love you. 
My higher self, I want to let you know that I love you. Allah, I want to let you know that I love you. And I'm moving on. If there's negative people in your life, you ask God for guidance on how to remove these negative people out of your life. And then you move on. You wake up and you make your heaven on this earth. And when you are having this heaven on your earth, those people that is on another scale, at another frequency, they have to move out of your life. They have to. It's law. They're not no longer cause and effect. Their effect is someone else. Your cause and effect is bringing into you positive people, positive energy. And those people that don't vibrate at that level, they're going to wither away. It is just that simple, you guys. If you understand what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up because this right here is something that would change your life in all different ways ways. And this is the secret, God's knowledge to changing your life. Again, God plays so many laws here, so many that overlap in this one area and nobody's getting it. The law of attraction, ah, the law of assumption. You are who you assume to be. If you assume to be a troublemaker or always in conflict, then that's who you will be. If you feel like your world is falling apart, that's who you will be. The law of assumption, the law of attraction, the law of compensation of what you give. That is what you give out. You get back. I'm an innocent person, Yvette. I'm an innocent person. But you just went and cursed somebody out the other day. Or you just told a lie on your coworker so that you can move up. No, you're not innocent. You may not be getting it that way, but the universe is giving it to you another way. Okay? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Change something in your life and whatever it is that don't fit in has to move away. Has to move away or you'll move away from that level. You, There's a card in the tarot deck. It's called the three of wands, the three of sticks. And I want you guys to look this up. This is a card of chaos happening in the background. Chaos, nothing but chaos. And a person is now sitting in the safety zone looking back. That is a card that a lot of people overlook, but a lot of us are going through. That chaos in the back is you, is your life. And you just got out of that situation. And now you're in the safety zone, looking back on it saying, wow, I'm out of it. I got out of it. I'm saved. You're moving on. The seven of swords is the same thing. Moving on from, a, from conflict, okay? And remember, everything that happens in your life, you caused it. It's part of you. But you must know you have to get out of it. You have to move on. You have to move. And once you move on, all of that has to leave because it's no longer part of you. There's many levels in life, everyone. Many levels. Where you fit on these levels, it's up to you. And when you move outside of those levels, the people that was on that level don't go up with you unless they're on that same level of where you are and what you're thinking of. They have to remain there until they learn and move up. This is how it goes. Be very careful who you allow in your life. Be very careful on what conversations and what topics you speak of. Be very careful of how you treat others. Be very careful of your emotional vibrational level. Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you disappointed? Or are you happy to be alive? Are you content with life? Are you showing gratitude of whatever it is that you do have? Because God can take that away from you too. Where are you in life? And wherever you are is what you're getting in life. Change the way you're seeing the situation. And the situation has to change. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that you are part of God. 
And with God, all things are possible. Once you understand the universal laws, your life has to change. There is nothing God can't conquer. But see, the problem with you all is that you're looking on the outside for a solution that can only be solved within. You create your life. This is God's promise to you. So what are you going to do with your life when you have a problem? Are you going to sit back and blame other people for it? Or are you going to sit back and say, what role did I play in this? Where is my level of consciousness? Where do I find myself concerning this situation? Where do I find myself on this continuancy? Where do I find myself? Who am I? Am I one of them or am I somebody greater? If you are, start acting like it. Change your, change your people. I'm not saying run away from them. I'm saying start being around with other people. Open up to other people, okay? If something don't fit with you, start getting away and letting it go. And that's just as simple as it is, okay? If you understood what I was saying today, please give me a thumbs up because this is much love to all of you guys. And again, God has placed laws here. And again, you're probably saying a lot of these laws, event, they overlap, event. yes, they do. And that's why you need to pay more attention to it because they overlap so much. You can have all the fruits of this world if you understand how it works. You'll know you're on a good vibration. You'll know you are attracting good into your life when things start going more smoothly to you, for you. You start seeing things happening, changing in your life. You got a promotion. Your daughter just graduated from high school and received a scholarship. Your wife is, oh my God, she just got some side work where she's pulling in a lot of money. You start seeing your car not breaking down anymore. And all of a sudden, Uncle Bill has a brand new car and he can't use it anymore and he gives it to you. You start seeing, you go to the doctor, your blood pressure is okay. You start seeing your cholesterol is down. You start seeing yourself being happy, laughing, smiling a little more. Then you start, you start to say to yourself, wow, things are starting to get calmer in my life. What the heck is going on? And that is the way you get out of your problems. I'm not saying we will not encounter problems, everyone, but you have to know how to get out of it. You have to know what happened to attach me to this problem. What happened that in me to connect me with this problem, to connect me with these people? I don't care if it's you owing money, the IRS. I don't care what it is. Something brought this problem into your life, okay? And we all been there. The thing is, do you want to remain there? Do you want that to be your life? I'm not looking at no heaven when I die. My heaven and earth is here right now. You dictate what it's going to be for you, okay? And know the secret, and I just gave it to you. So blessings to you all. Again, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives you manifesting techniques to change your life. This day right here, we didn't talk about using anything more than your thinking, more than what you feel about yourself, what you feel about every area in your life. The only thing you need to do is to change the way you're thinking and give that problem, that trouble to God. Give it to your angels, your guardian angels. Your, your spiritual guides, give it to your higher self and let it go. See that person, smile. You see that situation, smile. Take action and let it go. So again, blessings to you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, everyone. For, for me, I give you information that will change your life and you're not going to get it on any other channel, okay? Blessings to you all. And before I let you go, I just want to get to some of these comments. I want to thank my comment moderator for being here. Um, again, I got I to gotta give my shout out to my um, members. We got Clinton, we got Corbanas, we got Robinson Family, Diana, Angela Hunt, we got Queenie, we got Carlton Atkins, hello Carlton. Yes, Donna Full, 
Um, we have here Renee Spence. Hello, Renee. Hello. <laughs> Renee says, good morning, Yvette. I just booked a coaching session on Monday. Renee, blessings to you. I love talking to you. I, I really do. Blessings to you. Um, Vanessa Jackson, good morning, Queenie. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Blessings to all on here. Vanessa, thank you for being here. And again, you guys, I just want to say that, um, let me turn this off real quick. I just want to say, I can't. Um, I just want to say this is a place where we come together at this moment to commune with one another. Um, everybody's giving thumbs up. Okay. And okay. We got so many people, a lot of thumbs up. I am greater. Absolutely. Okay. And, and I like that comment, Queenie. Queenie says, I am greater. That's a nice one. I love it. When you get in a problem or a situation, and you looking at the situation, you can say, I'm greater than that. I'm better than that. You're not saying I'm better than other people. You're saying I'm better and greater than that. I'm better than that. I'm greater than that. Queenie, you get the thumbs up today because I love that. It's something similar to what I say. I am not that. I am better than that. And you walk away. Thumbs up to you, Queenie. <laughs> okay, and then we have here a lot of thumbs up. That's right. Oh, I'm Chandra Legardi. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, I see you, Clinton. Okay, so now let me get to a couple of the other comments, and then we're going to be out. Again, thank you, my comment moderator. Um, he says, be positive and attract good energy today. I love it, I love it, I love it. A lot of people are just saying hello, hello, hello. Um, let me see if there's any comments here real quick. Um, we got Central um, Central Africa here. Much love to you. I love it. Ohio's here. Good morning. Good morning. Atlanta's here. Good morning, Atlanta. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. I love it. Um, good morning, Yvette. I just, okay. Good morning. Um, oh, God bless you, dear sister. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, bless. Why did I fall and broke my ankle all of a sudden? Listen, that's the same question I asked myself when I got in an accident, okay? Nothing is different. Whatever it is happening in your life happened for a reason, okay? Let it go. Sit back. Wish good for other people. I sat there and I had a car accident. And I said, whoa, why is it I had a car accident? Number one, Van Wick Expressway, I hate. Two, I was talking to my mother for a while about accidents because everybody was driving crazy. And we were talking about it a few times. And the universe even gave me a, 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 a warning, gave me a dream of myself being in an accident. So I was even driving even more careful, not knowing I was going to get hit from the back. Okay? Things happen, everyone. Okay? And listen, wipe it off. It already happened. And say, God, I give this to you. It happened. And let me just change. And let me just change the way I'm doing certain things. Sit back and find out where did you fall? Who was around you? What were you thinking? And just start doing simple things like that to see how you attracted this. Okay. Are you always scared of falling? Are you always um, self-conscious about other people falling? What is it? Were you watching a lot of movies where people were getting hurt? What is it you were doing to attract this in your life? Okay. Nice to see you too. Um, blessings. Blessings. I see a lot of people. Um, I am going to share this with my friend because this is exactly what I've tried to explain to her, but you put it in better words that I believe she will understand. Yes. If you feel like other people are going through situations in their life and they're playing the victim role, why me? Oh, you did it. You weren't there. You didn't give me the money. You didn't help me. The victim role, people. Oh my God. The victim role. Give them this. Let them know what I'm saying. And maybe something might click. And not only are you helping them, but you are helping yourself because you are helping others and reaching out to others. 
Shadow work. Absolutely. That's another powerful way. Okay. Shadow work, mirror work, hopono, hopono. All of these things are absolute techniques that you can use to help yourself get out of situations. Okay. Blessings to you. You're preaching, honey. And look, it's Sunday and, and that's the role is to help you guys get out of certain situations. Um, I am great. I love that. Oh, somebody else saying, I am great. I love it. This is a word. Oh, listen, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. I am great. Everybody's saying it. Hi from San Diego. San Diego. Um, listen, listen, a listen, a lot of people are saying I am greater. Sean <laughs> Chandra, I am great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, San Diego is here. I uh, just saw you work of uh, listen, blessings, blessings. I needed to receive this. Blessings to you, especially for women and women are, are heaven on earth. I absolutely, as above, so below. Absolutely, as above, and I even wrote that down. As above, so below. Okay. And all, listen, all of these overlap, you guys, and you have to understand, God is telling you, I'm not punishing you. You're basically punishing yourself. I have put certain laws into place for you to have either heaven or hell on earth. I'm not punishing you. If anything is going on in your life, you created it. Some way, somehow, either mentally, you created it. The idea is how to get out of it. And listen, you guys. A lot of times you go through situations and troubles. It leads you to a better life. Sometimes you go through things which you which you should. The things that cause you trouble is something to take you to the next level. So you went through a new a situation. This situation took you to a next level. It might be your book that helps thousands of other people. Okay? But you took something negative and you turned it into something positive. There are so many ways to look at a situation to change your life. Okay, and blessings to you all. We have Florida here. I just came back from Florida last week. Blessings to you. I cleanse my home and receive you and receive your life. And listen, blessings to you. <laughs> I love it. Um, thank you so much. We got Columbia, South Carolina here. Tell you the truth, I got Columbia upstairs visiting. Yes, Columbia, South Carolina, welcome here. Bliss, um, blissful Risings, um, I am better than that. Um, challenge, yes, I like that. I am greater. Yes, Queen, yes, yes, yes. Florida, um, okay. We have Florida again here. Best ways to teach the law of attraction is to children. Absolutely, they need to learn. Schools don't teach them that. I am better than that. This is with help. Um, this will help my friends also. Blessed. The universe may be saying to take a defensive driving course. Laugh out loud. Oh, you are too funny. The Smith system is one thing that has helped me avoid accidents with my CLD. I love it. Oh, Van Wick. Thank you for asking. What's um what was my part in this? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Always wish, wish good for people, even those who hurt you. Um, took me a while to figure that out. Had to do some inner work. Still, I work in process, but all better. And I love that comment because I do want to say people are working with what they know. We are all working with what we know. Your parents were doing the best they could do at that moment with what they know, with what their parents taught them. You have to be show compassion to other people. I'm not telling you that you need these people in your lives because I will be lying because that's not how I work. I send love and I move on. I might come around. There's a gathering. Other than that, you won't see me into the next gathering. You won't see me because my circle is tight. I don't let everyone in my circle. I don't let everyone in my house. I don't let everyone that I go out with. If you see me most of the time, I'm solo because that's how tight my circle is. Okay. So again, blessings to all of you. Okay. Um, 11, 111 likes. I love it. And don't forget the like, you guys. Um, help me. You help me so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Blessings to you. Stay wonderful. Have a blessed day. North Carolina's in the house. Yes. Yes. The best golden rule. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. 
Absolutely. And again, blessings to you all. I'm signing out. Go out there. Enjoy your day. I have always have a fabulous week. Last week, I went to Florida. This week, I went to the 50th um, hip hop um, celebration. It was a free concert in Queens. Excellent. I love it. Big ups to all those people that showed up for that free concert. I mean, it was great, fabulous. I got a chance to take pictures with some celebrities, had backstage passes. It was beautiful. Listen, I want to send you guys love and asking you guys to live your best life. Live it, enjoy it, wake up every day with a smile, and you will have more. Again, namaste to you guys. Namaste. Florida's in the house. Blessings to all. And namaste.